Hello guys, in case you are new here, my name is Charles, I am a JavaScript developer and in this video I will share with you the 10 most common Visual Studio Code extensions that are used to improve functionality and visuals. I will divide this video into two sections. The first section will talk about visual extensions and these extensions improve the look of Visual Studio Code development environment. The next section will talk about functional extensions and these extensions help you to do things faster so let's get started with the visual extensions and at number one we look at the theme i use the tokyo night theme this theme is easy on eyes and have awesome text colors so if i come to my index.html file you can see that it have awesome text or font colors it also have the light mode which are I don't like so if I come to set color theme then we come to the Tokyo night light you can see that the mode will transform from dark to light but I like to keep it at dark at number two we will look at the font and the font that I use is JetBrains mono this is not an extension but I felt I should mention it here because it also improved the visuals. This font is awesome and it works well together with the Tokyo Night theme and I'll create a video on how to install this font on Visual Studio Code. At number three we will look at the icons and the theme that I use here is material icon theme. It provides nice icons as you can see at the top here we have uh, cool icons for each file there are alternatives uh, extensions for icons but I prefer working with material icons. At number four we have rainbow brackets. This is a very cool extension especially when you have nested functions. You can easily identify the beginning and the end of brackets as it provides different colors. So if I open my main.js file you can see this say hello function have different bracket color uh, as compared to console.rog which have yellow color. So it's easy to identify the beginning and the end of brackets. At number five, we have Prettier. Prettier is a code formatter which I think every uh, developer should have. It organizes the code nicely by cutting out white spaces and indenting the code. So if I come back to my main.js file, and try to mess around with the spacing of this file, create unnecessary line breaks and also unnecessary indents. If I try to save this file, you can see it's reformatted to a nicely organized code and it's much easier to read this code. So Prettier is a very cool extension which I think every developer should use. Now let's go to the next section of this uh, video which is functional extensions. And at number six, we will look at Git Lens. This extension make it easy to work with Git. It have many cool features, e.g. it provide the ability to see uh, previous commit messages and the album of those messages. And it make it easy to track changes uh, made on files without going out of Visual Studio Code. So if you are using Git, I think uh, Git Lens will be a very helpful extension to use. At number seven, we have the live server. This is a cool extension for front-end developers. It auto-refreshes the browser, allowing you to see the changes as they happen. So you save more time when using the live server. Just to show you how it works, when I come to my files and open index.html file with a live server, I'll press the browser uh, side by side with my code editor and open index.html file. So if I add something and edit here, maybe extensions, you can see that it's happening live. So this is a very cool extension because you can see what is happening as you code, okay? And I'll come up with another video on how to properly configure the Rave server. Another cool extension that I use is auto rename tag. 
This is an extension for HTML and XML tags and it makes it easy to edit the tags. So if I come back to index.html file, let's say I want to change this div tag into a p tag. When I delete, you can see that the changes are happening automatically on the opening and on the closing tag. And when I change this one to a p tag, you can see it auto changes the closing tag to a p tag. This makes it easy to edit your tags. And I think if you are working with HTML, you should definitely install auto rename tag. At number nine, we have CSS pick. And this extension allow you to see the styling of an element without getting out of the HTML file. So for example, if I am in my index.html file and I want to see the styling of this div with the class of container, all I can do is to press control and then hover over this class. And you can see that the styling's are displayed on a pop-up. So you don't have to go back and forth to the CSS file to see the styling. And when I click this one, it can take me directly to that file and I can now edit the styling. So this is a very cool extension, especially if you are a front-end developer. At number 10, we have simple React snippets. And this is a cool extension for React developers. It provides shortcut in order to perform things faster, e.g. importing files or creating class-based component, stress functional component. This makes you to code faster in React. So you can see all of these shortcuts that uh, are available here. You can learn about them and apply them in code. You don't have to use all of them. Just use this, the ones that you think uh, will be helpful. So that was my top 10 list of Visual Studio extensions. Maybe you have a different preference from mine. And if that is so, let me know at the comment section below. Let me know which extensions you think they are awesome, whether you already have some of these installed or whether you gained uh, another extension that you need to add to your list. So that's it for this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next video.